So I thought we might go back and look at the quad curve a little bit. So I've created another video here. It's kind of an extension to video six. Again, I'm using the Z code uh, template that I created. Uh, it's really good. It just makes it easy to uh, kind of ignore the swing details and just play with the GUI. Uh, I'm sorry, just play with the graphics and then display them in the GUI. So again, I'm using the same template that I've been playing around with where I'm drawing a hundred random objects. And uh, in this case, we're drawing the quad curves. This is what I did before. I set the curves to all start and end at the same point. So they're going to start on the left of the screen at 10.52 and end on the right of the screen at 10.10.5.12. I'm sorry, 5.12 was the first one too. Again, my screen is 10.24 by 10.24. So what's going to change here is the control points and that'll be randomized and you can see that that's uh, up here and then also uh, this time instead of drawing the curve I'm going to fill it and I think that'll make it easier for you to see the shapes. Let's uh, play around a little bit with this so we'll start by bringing this down to 10 so we're only going to draw 10 so we'll be able to see them better. So here you can see that I have 10 curves and uh, you can't see all of them because they overlap one another but you can kind of see now how this shape is conformed by the two endpoints which are the same for all of them and then the random control point that uh, sets that up. So I thought that might help a little bit for you to understand uh, how the quad curve works. Now, um, let's see what else we can do here. Well, first off, let's go ahead and put it back to 100 and draw 100 again. Whoops. So now we'll draw 100 of those things. And there you go. So, so you can kind of see that the control point sort of pulls the line away uh, and it's kind of like a weighted factor here. Okay. Again, I got it set to draw them all in a random color uh, so we can see the different ones and to make it more interesting. Okay, yeah, I think that's probably good enough for this.